Okay, thank you very much. Good morning, Coach Summers. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing today? Doing well. Thank you for asking. Uh, Coach, uh, before we get to questions, um, can you just give us your thoughts on last week's game against New Mexico State? Uh, yeah, well, we, uh, you know, went into the game knowing that there were certain things that we needed to be able to do to win it. I think that uh, Doug and his staff have, have done a nice job and uh, and a lot of the improvements they've made uh, over the last year and got to give those guys a lot of credit. Uh, we felt like we had an opportunity and put ourselves in a position to win the game and uh, and ultimately we didn't. And, uh, and some of those things are uh, discipline things, you know, and uh, that we've got to get cleaned up and I've got to get cleaned up. But again, got to give them a lot of credit for uh, – for winning the game in the fourth quarter. And, Coach, your next game is against UMass. Um, what have you seen from them so far this year as you prepare for this game? Well, you know, they're, they're a team that's a lot better than uh, what their record indicates. You know, a team that played really well a couple of weeks ago versus uh, the University of Tennessee and a team that continues to, to get better. Uh, played well against Ohio last week and, you know, uh, came within a, a, a touchdown against Temple. So they're a team that each week has gone out and competed and played well um, through each one of these games uh, that you see them. And uh, and they've they've had a challenging schedule to this point. But uh, again, I think Coach Whipple and his staff are uh, are putting together a good product and what they're trying to build. And uh, and I think you know, obviously, the defense coordinator is a guy that's played against us. For the last two years, coming over from Western Michigan on, on Coach Flex staff, so it won't be his first go around with uh, some of what we do with the option. And uh, they're very multiple in what they do, you know, particularly on offense. Quarterback's a good player, uh, got a number of good receivers. And, uh, and so, anyway, they're an impressive group. Coach, last week, um, with a number of changes on the offensive line, you were still able to run for 192 yards. Um, what's really the outlook going into this week for that group? Uh, well, we're trying to get some of those guys back healthy. Um, you know, we've had a a group kind of in place that has been playing for us this year, and some of those guys were returning guys from last year. But uh, with some of the changes on the offense, some of them have changed and moved in different positions. And uh, and so it's kind of what it created the other day. We we really had one guy out, but we wound up having to move, you know, two or three guys around to kind of give us our best five and the looks that we had. So trying to get trying to get hopefully to be able to get Tommy Boynton back this week and kind of get back to to a normal base with uh with the guys in the group that we have. Coach defensively, um going into the UMass game, what does your group need to do successfully to make sure you slow down UMass? Stop giving up big plays. Thanks coach. Um coming into this next game too, you have a two-headed attack of Wesley Fields and LA Ramsby. How do you how do you look to establish them against UMass coming up? Well, I think in every game, you know, uh, running the ball is certainly what we do. Uh, we don't make any bones about that. Uh, we feel really good about the runners that we've got and uh, and obviously the quarterback's ability to run the ball as well and what we're doing out of the gun option. Uh, but we, we've got to be able to establish those guys early. I thought the offense did a nice job of coming out and, uh, and really the first, you know, couple of series of the game really playing well and being in sync and um, – and I thought that both backs were able to do some nice things with us. I mean, particularly L.A., you know, between the tackles and, and also Wesley, you know, with uh, with some of the things they were able to do on the perimeter. And I thought, you know, that Shy was able to do a nice job the first couple of uh, of drives of sus sustaining momentum. And uh, and that's what we've got to be able to do. And we've got to be able to continue to do that and be able to make adjustments as uh, as the defense adjusts us. We've got to be able to, to make sure that we're able to execute with the adjustments that we're making as well.